Hi, my name is Jim. Uh, today I became a Tesla owner for the first time. I've been thinking about getting a Tesla ever since the Model 3 came out, which has been a while, and I recently decided that it was time to pull the trigger on a Model Y, and this is what I got today. And I'd like to share with you some of my thoughts on the process and um, what I think so far. So I ordered the car about a month ago and I got a VIN number in about two weeks and about two weeks after that we picked up the car today and I don't live near a service center. I live 250 miles from a service center so we had to drive 250 miles. We rented a car so we didn't have to take two cars back. Uh, I, I've been following Facebook and all the groups for a long time, and I was quite frankly scared. Um, all of the issues with paint and panel gaps and smudges on the interior and all the problems that everybody's having with Tesla, I was just quite frankly just scared that I would that I drove four hours uh, to the service center and for nothing and that I was gonna have to reject the car and turn around and be completely upset with how it how it went down. I get to the service center and I looked for my car and as it turns out uh, I thought I saw my car in the parking lot which is a red model Y but quickly realized that that wasn't my car. Um, it was a model Y with red interior and uh, the, the guy from the service center came out, excellent guy, his name is Josh, um, came out and said, hey, well, you're here a little bit early. I got there by 40 minutes early. Um, so he pulled the car out and um, pulled the car out for us. He said, take your time, look it over. And first impression was, wow, this thing looks gorgeous and it looks great. Um, I did the, the full GitHub checklist. Uh, we, we marched through it. Um, was it perfect? Almost. Um, there is one paint issue, uh, which I will show here uh, in a second um, in a photo, uh, which is the back passenger door um, has a sizable chip scratch, whatever you want to call it, pointed it out to the service center guy. And he says, yeah, we'll have to take care of that. Um, minor panel gap issues, but really if I hadn't been looking for them, I probably wouldn't notice. And if I wasn't going to get the paint fixed, I probably wouldn't get the panel gaps addressed either. As far as the interior is concerned, the headliner looked great. The seats look great. There's some smudges on the seat that I think will come right off. If not, I'll note them uh, before my 24-hour period is for reporting. Um, they were doing some remodeling in the service center, and apparently there was drywall dust over everywhere. And you can kind of see it on nooks and crannies of the machine, so we'll have to get that cleaned up. But otherwise, generally great. Um, car wasn't quite to the level of charge that I wanted uh, when I picked it up because I came early. He offered before I accepted the car to drive to the local uh, supercharger station. Where I was at, there wasn't a supercharger at the service center. Um, we did that, uh, charged up, came back. Uh, accepted the vehicle and uh, did the electronic payment on my phone and uh, filled out literally I had one signature I had to sign and turn it in and at that point they turned the car over to me and my app lit up and it, it all works and we then started our journey home after dropping off the rental car at the uh, local airport and we had I got about four hours and about 250 miles worth of driving um, as I record this, it is November 21st, and I am in Iowa now, but where I was in Illinois, it starts to get cold. Um, it was about 45 degrees Fahrenheit, which was better than I expected, and I was really concerned about range um, and what I was going to get for range um, going from where I was in Bloomington, Illinois, to my first super supercharger stop in um, Davenport, Iowa, which was 150 miles away. There was nothing in between. And I was really concerned. And um, everyone on Facebook says to get around range anxiety, do two things. One, change your battery setting from miles to percent. I did that. Two, trust Tesla navigation. And I did that. It said I was going to arrive at my destination with... I think it said 30% uh, charge started with 90 
and I arrived there with 30% charge. It was right on the money. And I was playing around with the heat. I was playing around with everything else. And I was trying to drive reasonably fast, reasonably slow, um, just normal driving. And it just got me there. Um, and everything was perfect. And then after the supercharger in Davenport, I drove back to my hometown, uh, which was about 90 miles away. And again, navigation was spot on on what my charge level was going to be when I got home. Uh, general feel of the drive. Um, a lot of people on Facebook said, wow, the Model Y is really bumpy. It's really rough. It's really loud. I, um, I have to admit that I don't have any issues with either of those things. And it could be because I'm coming from a 2012 Mini Cooper S. And that car was rough and it would shake your fillings out. And um, so this car, great. Uh, almost silent. Yes, there's road noise. Yes, there's some slight wind noise. But generally, this car is quiet. This car is smooth. And if you come from a car that is not a high-end luxury vehicle, you're going to find that this car is perfectly fine. Um, and I'm very happy with that. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is autopilot. Um, never tried it. Took me about 10 miles to calibrate the cameras, which was faster than I expected. And for the bulk of the 250 miles back home, I had autopilot turned on. And for the most part, it was absolutely magical. And it just worked. And it was crazy. And it was great how it felt when I was driving because you don't realize when you're driving normally the micro adjustments that you make when you're steering um, just through normal driving and how much wear and tear that has on you and not having to worry about that. It really almost felt like I was a passenger and I felt like the time went more quickly and I felt more refreshed like I was a passenger. Um, I have full self-driving. Um, I did try navigate on autopilot. I have to admit, I haven't figured out how the lane change stuff works yet. Um, I will be playing around with that. Um, so, so far, so good. Um, my first impressions of the Model Y are excellent. And what I plan to do in future videos is highlight what it's like to own a Tesla where there aren't a lot of Teslas. Um, I'm in the middle of Iowa and it gets cold, it gets hot, it gets all kinds of road conditions. Um, and I plan on doing some testing and giving you guys some feedback on what it's like to, to own a Tesla in an area that doesn't have a lot of Teslas or a service station, um, or uh, how does the mobile uh, service work? I'm gonna let you know, at least that's my plan. Um, so, so far, that's my first impression, and I hope you uh, stick around for future videos. If you like this, please hit the subscribe button, and uh, you'll get the next ones that I have. Otherwise, thanks for your time.